first of all, welcome to Toronto. And Damari, when you look at free agency, and it's something as a professional athlete that when it comes, you really want to take it in and, and really assess what's going on because it doesn't happen quite frequently due to the extent of a career. But there's no question that when you were approached by the rappers, as you said, you definitely felt the realness of what they were saying. And when you had that realness, was it a no-brainer at that point? Yeah, it was a no-brainer because I feel like Masai and Coach Casey and the rest of the organization came into my home and they welcomed my family. And um, as a basketball player, the, the game is sometimes bigger. Your family is way bigger than the game. So uh, you have to put that aside and assess that. And I, they came in real. Uh, welcome my family and offer me a role on this team defensively that I was willing to take. Damari, how impressed with you were you with that? You talked about it earlier that they didn't come in and try to sell you on stuff that you weren't. They played right to your strength. How do you see your defense and your strength helping this team? Um, I think me going out there, not only being a vocal leader, but also going out there leading by example on the defensive end. Um, as a defender, you always want to get your guys engaged and let them know it's, it's fun playing defense. It's fun getting stops. It's fun seeing the other team frustrated. And uh, that's why I really want, you know, the brain of the team because I think the Toronto Raptors have well-capable defenders, and, but I think they just might need that little extra push, that little extra energy. When you talk about that push, and Sherman and I referenced this before, sometimes that push comes in practice. Sometimes that push is not necessarily welcomed by teammates in practice, and you're smiling because I know you've probably seen that before. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, my mentor was Tony Allen um, when, I was at, when, I was, <laughs> when I was at Memphis. Okay. So um, he always used to push me. He used to take me in the gym late at night and play one-on-one -on -one with me, and sometimes I couldn't even get the ball to the goal. He'll foul me hard. But in reality, once I sat back and thought about it and looked at it, uh, that really helped me. Right. That really helped me physically, and that really helped me mentally when I went into the game. So I might get in practice. I might foul a couple of people. And <laughs> I might get on their skin a little bit, but I'm doing it for the good of right. the team, and I'm just trying to let them know that, you know, once it comes playoff time, that's what you have to look forward to. I think we can extract the word might from that. Yeah, statement. yeah, it will. It's going to happen. <laughs> but, Damari, when you, when you talk about being a Raptor and what you're bringing, you know, last season we watched what you and Atlanta did in terms of just running through the league. Obviously, you know, the playoffs were difficult in terms of you getting injured. So just when you talk about that experience being injured and knowing that that was an opportunity and a platform that you haven't had before, this season coming into a Raptor organization, you saw how their season ended to Washington. How much of that hunger is built on getting back to where you were with Atlanta in terms of deep in the playoffs and being one of the leaders there? Uh, that's, that's what it's about, um, getting far in the playoffs, giving this city something to root about. Um, so every day, you know, you have to build towards that. It don't come overnight. Uh, it's not – you have to take little baby steps and get there. And I feel like this team did a lot of good things, and they always get to the first round. They have great team players. And I think just myself, Corey Joseph, uh, Louis Scholes will add more to that. And um, I think that's the biggest key for us to come in is really to help on the defensive end because offensively, this team could throw it in the hoop. Damari, a lot of people kind of categorize and stereotype Toronto the wrong way. And you always talk about, you, you just mentioned that it's not just about the game, it's about your family too, the way the Raptors welcomed your family. What do you know about Toronto? What, why do you feel that... Never mind on the court, but off the court, it'll be a good fit for your wife and your family. Um, I just noticed from yesterday just the, the fans and, and how they treat you. You know, they, they treat you with respect. <laughs> they're going to be behind their team if they won in 81. You know, they're going to be behind their team regardless. And they're going to treat your family with respect. And uh, you go to many cities and they don't do that. And uh, I feel like Toronto has a lot to offer for me and my family outside of the game of basketball. Mm -hmm. And um, we can walk around every day and, and we don't have to get hassled by fans. They're going to treat us with just the amount of respect we'll treat them with. Right. There's no question fans are happy that you're here. And oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, based on what's happening down low here, fans are going to be really happy about what's going to happen in terms of the fashion that this man's going to bring. Now, I'm going to back up so oh, yeah. my shoes aren't my in the shoes shot. Are no, like no, no, I'm some real dusty slippers right now. <laughs> but there's no question, Damari Carroll bringing the style and the bling and the fashion to Toronto as your newest Raptor. Congratulations, Damari. We hope, wish you nothing but success. And I guess it's time to get to work. It's time to get to work. And uh, Junkyard Dog 2.0 is ready. <laughs>